you uh, RF or electronic markers. Um, Eastcom offers a couple of different styles. This is commonly called a ball marker. The uh, ball marker consists of several different antenna windings inside the ball. They're indestructible devices. They're buried above uh, utility tees or above uh, points of intersection, anywhere that you might like to mark a target so that you can go back and find it at a later time. Another style of marker is a disc marker. These discs can be embedded into the lids of hand holes or we can equip them with a cup to sit directly onto a gas tap valve or a T. We have uh, an electronic marker um, installed or placed over a sanitary line and we'll review the use of the receiver to pick up that electronic marker. This is a tool called the RD8000. There's also a version of the RD7000. Both are available with flip-down antenna to locate the electronic markers. As soon as the antenna is deployed, when we turn the unit on, it will start up in the marker mode. We select the marker type by pressing the frequency key, and as you can see, there are several different types available. So I'm going to search for that sanitary marker by increasing the sensitivity, holding the tool towards the area of search. The signal strength maximizes. I'm going to decrease the sensitivity and pinpoint the location of the marker by watching the sensitivity scale and the bar graph. At this point, the depth of the marker is displayed, the type of the marker, and the strength pinpoints the precise location. Another type of marker locator is uh, made by uh, Greenlee. Uh, it's called the Marker Mate, and it is a standalone marker locator. Unlike the uh, other product that we reviewed, it is simply a marker locator. It does not have a cable or pipe locate function. When we turn it on, we select the marker type that we're looking for, in this case, sanitary, and we just watch for the maximum amount of signal use the sensitivity gauge to pinpoint the marker buried in the ground. One of the more common applications is to put the electronic marker into a handhold or in a pedestal. In a lot of the areas in the Northeast, we've struggled in the last few years with snow cover. Uh, these markers would uh, allow the location of the uh, handhold or pedestal very easily. So uh, we, we have a marker buried into this small pedestal. Essentially, you can see the receiver pinpointing the location of the marker, reading the depth to it. And if we look inside, you can see the marker placed in the pedestal.